Hello, Maths 10 students. I am Mr. Sutton from Heron High School. Again, I will be doing the Math 10 videos. Hopefully, you have something to write with and something to write on. If you're able to print off the notes, it should look something like this. So today, we are going to be talking about discriminant. So the discriminant is the part of the quadratic formula underneath the square root. So the discriminant, it gives how many and what type of solution a quadratic equation will have. So this right here, this b squared minus 4 times a times c, that's, again, the part that's underneath the quadratic formula. This is the discriminant. If this whole thing, when simplified, is positive, then that means there are two real solutions. Okay. If... The discriminant is zero when simplified, then there is one real solution. And if this whole thing is negative when simplified, there are no real solutions. So we're going to look at some examples, three examples here, and I am going to give you a U try at the end. So let's look at this first example here. We have this quadratic. It's in standard form of A, B, C. Okay. So the B value, or let's do the A value first. The A value is 1. The B value is negative 8. The C value is 16. So we want to do b squared, negative 8 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 16. And that's all we need to do to find the discriminant. We don't need to use the rest of the quadratic formula. We just need this. So I'm going to say d equals that for discriminant. Negative 8 squared is a positive 64. And then we have negative 4 times 1 times 16, that is also negative 64. 64 minus 64 is 0. So here we have the second case here where the discriminant is 0. So that means one real solution. So it says how many and what type of solutions will we have? One real solution is our answer. Answer is not zero. The answer is one real solution because we're trying to figure out how many and what type of solutions we have. I'm not asking you what the discriminant is here. I'm just asking you for this information. So let's look at this next example. Again, in standard form, we have our A, B, and C values given to us, A is 4, B is 1, and C is 3. So using our discriminant formula, we want B squared, 1 squared, minus 4 times A, which is 4, times C, which is 3. D equals that. 1 squared is just 1, and we have negative 4 times 4 times 3, that's a negative 48. 1 minus 48 is going to give us a negative number. That's negative 47. So when we have a negative discriminant, that is no real solutions. No real solutions. And if you think about it, the reason for that is, is because in the context of the quadratic formula, 
again, this discriminant piece is underneath the square root. So if we have a negative underneath a square root, we are not going to be able to get any solutions, okay? You can't multiply a real number by itself to get a negative output. So that is why when the discriminant is negative, we have no real solutions. Let's finally look at this last example. A, B, C. A in this case is 1. B in this case would be 0. If I were to write all of this out in standard form, we would have a plus 0x here, minus 9. So we don't have any single x terms. And then C is negative 9. So our discriminant is b squared, 0 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 9. 0 squared is 0. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 9 is a positive 36. 0 plus 36 is 36. So here we have a positive discriminant, so that means we have two real solutions. The reason for that is this is something that we can square root because it's positive. And remember when you square something or when you square root something, you have the plus and the minus version. So you have a multiplicity here, two solutions. When it's zero, when you square root zero, there is no plus or minus version. It's just a zero. So that's why we only have one real solution there. So hopefully that clarifies where these discriminant rules come from. Uh, so take a second, go back through those examples if you need to. But I would like to share with you the U try problem here. So we have two very similar quadratics. The difference is the C value of 16. And then here we have a C value of 17. Take a minute, pause the video, try both of these examples. And I am going to pause the video as well and put up the answers for these. Okay, so pause the video now, please. All right, this is what you should have got for these two you try examples. We have the ABC values listed, and then I plug those into the discriminant formula. Here we have zero, so that's one real solution, and here we have negative four, that, so that's no real solutions. And since you have some extra time on this video, I do want to go a little more in depth on this. If you think about plugging all of this in for this first example into the quadratic formula, so we have the quadratic formula is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I'd have minus negative 8, so that's plus 8, plus or minus square root of, here's the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. We know now that that's 0 over 2 times a, which is 1. So notice here the plus or minus, the square root, that's where we get multiple answers. But since we have plus or minus 0, that all just kind of goes away. And really, we just have 8 over 2 times 1, which is 2, which is 4. So since this is 0, we lose our chance to have multiple answers. So that's why when it's 0, we have one real solution. If I do the same thing over here, once again, I have 8 outside, plus or minus. And then inside the square root, we have negative 4. And then 2 times 1 on the bottom. Since this is negative, when I try to simplify this, you can even try to put this in your calculator. Square root negative 4. Let's see what happens. 
domain error. Yeah. So your calculator is not going to want to do that. Uh, if you learn about imaginary or complex numbers, you will have imaginary solutions, but that's why we don't have any real solutions here is because we cannot simplify this into a real number. This is the best we can do. We can do eight plus or minus the square root of negative four or two. This is not real because of this aspect right here. All right, so hopefully that clarified where those discriminant rules came from. If you're not sure about those ideas, all you really need to do is know what the rules are at the top of the page. Uh, if you have any questions, please come to my office hours or Parsons office hours. Parsons are nine to 10 and mine are 10 to 11. You should find that information on the right hand side of the haiku page. Have a good day, stay healthy, please enjoy your extended e-learning period. Make sure you're keeping up on all of your assignments.